Vicky Gunvalson to rock co-stars, I'm OFF this damn show. Now that the Real Housewives of Orange County season finale has aired, it is of course time for the reunion special. This may be hard to process, because it's so uncharacteristic for a gathering of Real Housewives, but... Drama ensues. In fact, in this sneak peek that we have for you below, the stars seem rife with conflict. And multiple Samyons storm off of the set. The Real Housewives of Orange County reunion special is going to be so much. We're not just saying that because, you know, it's the Real Housewives of Orange County and when these reality personalities gather, you always know that it will be a lot. But, also that. No, in the sneak peek video that we have for you below, things appear to escalate pretty quickly as the Housewives, and Andy Cohen, round the bases and cover various conflicts and storylines that they had. And, of course, deliver some updates. Bravo teasers. Viewers will hear Shannon's full story on her heartbreaking split with David, while Tamara reveals the latest in her estrangement with her daughter. As Vicky gives an update on Brianna's health, one housewife shares some surprising news. And, an unlikely turn of events leaves everyone, including Andy, in shock. The special hasn't aired yet, but we can share a little more than that. First, Tamara Judge. Tamara Judge's daughter has publicly slammed her. This isn't a fit of teen rebellion or a too common case of daughters and mothers coming into conflict. This is a lot more serious and probably a lot more permanent. See, back in July, Tamara Judge shed an update on her estranged daughter, Sydney Barney. It took the form of photos from Sydney's graduation from high school. Cute, right? Not so much. First of all, Sydney's father, Simon Barney, forced her to invite her mother. Second of all, Sydney asked that her mother not share any of those photos. Naturally, being the woman that she is, Tamara promptly plastered those pics all over social media to brag about how close she and Sydney were to a reconciliation. As the chiron on the Real Housewives of Orange County's season finale reminds us, this did not sit well with Sydney. Sydney made a rare Facebook update, posting a lengthy and very well-worded letter explaining exactly why her mother's behaviour was so deceptive and disgusting. She also spoke about Tamara's other poor qualities, about her emotional abuse and about her neglect as a parent. We fully expect for Tamara's reunion update to be that she and Sydney still are in speaking, which would be for the best. If Tamara says something else. Well, if it's a lie, perhaps Sydney will give the world another update. Because if Tamara were really interested in putting her daughter first, as all mothers should, she would be respecting Sydney's wishes and not using their estrangement as a storyline. 
Lydia McLaughlin is getting into a bit of a diff. She has never been one to be shy, as if any real housewife has ever been shy, about her thoughts and opinions. And the teaser below shows a no-context clip of her defending herself or her faith. Or both. You don't understand my faith, of course it's not going to make sense to you. Lydia isn't a member of a minority faith that typically needs explaining, she's a Christian and she makes no secret of that. It'll be interesting to see how that argument, which you'll see a few seconds of below, is resolved and what it's all about. It will also be interesting to hear Shannon bed or talk about her split. We don't look forward to seeing her cry. Some people you can watch cry and it's like watching water droplets run down the wall of your shower. Other people, you can't help but feel for. For whatever reason, Shannon Bedore really gets to me. But now, for the main event, Vicky Gundlason. Is Vicky, the queen bee of the Real Housewives of Orange County, who has been a fixture on reality television since the series first began, really going to leave the show? At one point, as you'll see in this teaser, she gets so upset that she storms off of the set. She looks so distraught and seeks comfort in her dressing room. But though the camera doesn't cross the threshold to follow her, you hear the words. I'm off this damn show. And, as you'll see below, she's not even the only one to walk off of the set.